Good morning, YouTubers. It's Detrina from the Alluring Bee Boutique, and we're back today to do a new video in our Basic Stitches series. And today we're going to start with just simple, flat, even count peyote. For this video, I'll just be using some, uh, back to my larger beads here, my Edo Delicas. I've got them out in two colors so that you can see very clearly what's going on with this stitch and how to get started. I got a size 10 needle and some .008 wildfire on already threaded onto my needle. And I'm using this thicker thread because on these larger delicas you can see how extremely large the hole is. And you want to get as much thread in there as possible for a nice sturdy uniform look. And I've got a little four millimeter bead here that I'm using for a stop bead. So I'm going to put that on my needle. I'm going to carry that down to the end of my thread and just leave myself a few inches because we're just learning a stitch. I don't need it for anything else. I'm going to pass right back through that same bead from the bottom to the top. And when I pull it through, it's going to put a thread bridge here on the outside edge of the four millimeter bead. And what that does is when I pick up all my beads and let them drop down, that will keep them from falling off of my thread. So, um, in Peyote, we're going to start by picking up all the beads that we need for the first two rows. And I know that's kind of confusing, but when you see how the stitch works, as you, as you add your next set of beads, you're actually creating your third row. So let's go ahead and look at that. Let's pick up uh, eight beads because this is even count peyote. We want to pick up an even number. So I'm just going to alternate the colors of these beads four times. And then I'll show you what I have here. So I picked up a pink, a purple, pink, purple, pink, purple, pink, purple. So that I have four pinks and four purples. And what we need to do first is just let those all drop down here to the uh, stop bead just like that and we're going to flip this work around so that the tail thread is now farther away from us we're going to be working back from the very last bead we picked up up towards the stop bead in this first round so what I'm going to do is I'm coming out of a purple so I'm going to pick up a purple I'm going to skip this first purple bead that I picked up and I'm going to take my needle and pass through that pink bead just the pink bead and you can see right there that how I've dropped my work, and if I hadn't had a stop bead on, all of my beads would have fallen off. So I'm going to pull this up, and as I do, I'm going to pull kind of tight because I want these two purple beads to sit side by side, just like this. And I've got a little bit of a gap there, so if I just hold on to those bottom two purple beads and pull my thread towards the tail thread, it brings the beads up next to the other ones. So now I'm coming out of this pink bead, but I want a purple bead to sit beside of this next purple bead. So I'm going to go ahead and pick up a purple bead. And I'm going to pass through, skipping over the one that I picked up before. I'm going to go through the next one, which is the pink one right here. And I'm going to pull that into position. And as you can see, it sits nicely right beside the purple one. So I'm coming out of the next pink one. I'm going to pick up another purple one. I'm going to skip over the one on my base and go through the next pink one. And pull. And now that purple bead, my new one, sits beside the old one. We'll do that one more time. We're coming out of this pink bead at the top. We're going to skip that purple bead and go through the very last pink bead we picked up and pull our thread through. And this is what I mean by having three rows now. So we picked up one set of beads, but as we came through and worked that second, second round, we've actually created three rows of beads. Row one is now these purple beads to my right. Row two are the pink beads 
that are in the middle. In row three are the new purple beads here that I added in the second round of stitching. So I hope that clears up to you what people mean when they say you're picking up your first two rows, but as you work the second round, it creates three rows of beads just like that. So now I'm going to flip this work over and I'm going to work my next round. But I want to add these pink beads where they belong. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm coming out of the bottom of this pink bead. I'm going to pick up a pink bead and pass through that purple bead on row three. And I'm going to pull that in. And if your work seems to pull away like it's doing right here, take your thread and just pull across the beadwork like that. And it'll bring it back into position. And that's going to happen a lot because I'm using these bigger beads. And they just re they need a lot of thread, but I just wanted you to be able to see clearly. So now I need another pink bead. So I'm going to pick up this pink bead. I'm going to come up through that next purple bead on row three. And pull it in. I'm going to just do that for the next two. Pick up a pink, go through the third purple bead on row three. And then pick up our last pink bead. We're going to come through that purple bead at the top of row three. Pull it into position. And then you would just flip your work over and start again. So now we're coming out of this purple bead at the bottom, so we're going to pick up the purple. Come up through the pink of the previous row. And just repeat that all the way up, skipping over the next one and going through the one that's poking out. For all the different variations of peyote, except for two count or two drop and three drop, you're basically going to skip over the next one and go through the one that's poking out. And that's whether you're doing even count, odd count, flat, circular, or tubular. So now we're coming out of the pink bead here. We need to add one last purple bead. We'll pick it up. We'll skip that purple bead and come through the pink bead at the top that's sticking out. And if you want to figure out how many rows you've done, you can always count. You'll go to the bead that's farthest sticking out, like down here at the bottom, and you can count across your rows. So you would start here, one, two, three, four, five. So we've done five rows so far. All right, so now we're going to flip it over. Well, I'll show you one more time. We're coming out of the pink bead at the bottom. And this is how you would do it if you want your colors to line up like they're doing right here. Oops, sorry. <laughs> Let me flip it around. Pick up the pink. Go through the next one sticking out. When we're at the bottom and our thread is coming out the bottom of this bead, in essence, we're, we're counting that as skipping that bead because we're just going to pick up a bead and go up through the one poking out like that. We're doing pink, so we'll pick up pink, skip the pink one, come through the purple one poking out. And we'll just finish off the row, pick up the pink, come through the purple one that's sticking out, pick up the pink, and come through the purple sticking out at the top. And pretty much that's about all there is to f flat even count peyote. It's a beautiful stitch and it works up really well with the cylinder beads. And it just looks really nice. If you would like to see a stitch guide for this, I will be working one up soon and it'll be available on the bead mat. Um, there, I have several other stitch guides over there that you can get just for a dollar or two. Um, that can help you learn these basic stitches if you prefer, you know, pictures 
over video or something that you can print out and have on hand. All right, so that's it for Flat Even Count Peyote. Uh, make sure if you like this video, click like, subscribe to my channel, head on over to the bead map, and uh, sign up for the newsletter and follow my blog. Also, you can follow me on my social medias and join my bead map group on Facebook. I want to thank you guys for watching and have a great day.